What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 14.4 beta 2 to registered developers and soon to public beta testers. So this of course comes a few weeks after the release of beta 1 back in December. And along with the iOS update, we also got iPadOS 14.4 beta 2, watchOS 7.3 beta 2, tvOS 14.4 beta 2, and macOS Big Sur 11.2 beta 2. So a big beta software release day for Apple today, as expected the first release from Apple in the new year. So anyways, as usual in this video, we're gonna be covering what's new in iOS 14.4 beta 2. We're gonna talk about the performance, the battery life, the bugs, and more. So starting off with the size of this update, you can see here it came in around 335 megabytes on my iPhone 12. It was around the same on my iPhone 12 Pro as well. So a pretty small update. And you can see there, for some reason, my HomePod is popping up, even though I'm not that close to it. I'll talk about that in a moment. That is something new in this update, actually a fix in this update. But anyways, let's go to our settings and check out the build number. So general about, and then to 14.4, you can see the build number here for beta two is 18D5043D. So we do have a D at the end of the build number, which indicates we should see at least a couple more betas of 14.4 before the final release. And I will talk about the final release for 14.4, if we could see a 14.3.1 and all of that towards the end of this video. But let's scroll down and take a look at the modem firmware because we do have an update there as well. So it's now 1.42. 0.02. So if you were having any connectivity issues on beta one, those could be solved here in beta two with that new modem firmware update. So anyways, what's new here in iOS 14.4 beta two. And the first thing I want to talk about is as you just saw the handoff feature with the HomePod, in my case, the HomePod mini. So you can see as I get a little bit closer to that HomePod, it keeps popping up that handoff feature. And I have to say, after using this for a while, you can see it is still a little bit buggy, but it is much better than beta one. I mean, in so many different ways, when I actually hand off to the HomePod, I can actually interact with the menu and it doesn't bug out. So I'm gonna go ahead and play a song real quick and show you guys how this works. So I'm just gonna play this song right here and then I'm gonna move my HomePod close to it. And you can see it starts playing on the HomePod mini now. And you can see that the interface is much better and you can see it's not as buggy. We also have alarms down here. I cannot remember if that was in beta one, but we have a section down there for alarms on the HomePod. And you can see just the interface is different. It's much more clean and it's not as buggy. So before it'd be extremely buggy. Sometimes it wouldn't show the album artwork. Sometimes you couldn't press next or back. And you know, there is an issue where sometimes you can't adjust the volume. So you would not be able to adjust the volume here in beta two. Uh, that's the only issue I've seen so far with this interface, but it is much improved over beta one. So that is a good thing if you're into, you know, ha handoff with the home pods, if you have a home pod and you use that feature. So that's definitely something changed for the better here in beta two. And I also just realized that we have this transfer to iPhone little button right here. So that was not there in beta one. And then also when you tap on the X, you can see that is a new animation that goes up and then goes off the screen. So all of that is new here in beta two. So definitely a better experience with that. Now also in iOS 14.4 beta two, and this actually does not have to do with 14.4 necessarily. This actually, you can get to the screen from 14.3 as well, but there is a new leak for a new Find My iPhone splash screen, a new AirTags splash screen. So it's in the Find My application. So all you have to do is go into Safari and type in Find My colon slash slash and then items just like that and then tap go and it says open this page in find my and when you tap open it will take you to a new tab in the find my application that's meant to be there for air so let me go ahead and tap on open and you will get this screen right here where it says items keep track of your everyday items add accessories or other items that are compatible with find my and they will appear here so this is actually active right now. This is actually a screen. We've seen screenshots of this before, but you can actually access the screen now on your iPhone. And like I said, this is not new in 14.4 beta two, but I've not covered this yet on the channel. So I did want to mention this. And actually if you tap on add item, you can see right here, it says searching items, follow the instructions provided by the manufacturer to make your item discoverable. So this indicates it says by the manufacturer. So this may actually work for other companies as well. So other people can, you know, tap into Apple's ecosystem with Find My and the AirTags. And there's a lot to be still said about the AirTags. I think it's gonna be much more than what we actually think it is right now. So it'll be interesting to see that. And you can see we have an identify found item right here as well. So you can identify when you find something that is linked up 
with the AirTag. So that's interesting. That is a new screen here. And if you tap on learn more, of course, it's going to take you to a screen that is not currently available because the air tags are not out yet. But I thought that was interesting and kind of just a leak on Apple's part. At this point, I don't think they even care just because there's been so many leaks about air tags already. Now, the next thing I want to talk about has to do with beta two, and that is that the frame drops and the stutter appear to be fixed here in beta two. So in 14.4 beta one, I mentioned this in my original, my what's new video, the very first video I made on 14.4 beta one, I mentioned how I had stutter issues and so many people in the comments also had the same thing. And over the past few weeks, I've seen numerous people say that they've also had frame drops, they've had stutter issues, you know, when they go from the control center out of the control center into the app switcher, when they unlock their phone, all types of different scenarios. And I actually had those as well. Mostly I had it when I would pull down the control center or the control center and the notification center both times, I would have like a little bit of stutter. And also sometimes when I would go into the app switcher and out of the app switcher, but that is completely solved now on beta two. I've not had any frame drops or any type of stutter where I had before in beta one. And again, I use these betas on my daily device. So every single day I'm using this beta and I definitely notice that stutter and I've not noticed it so far in beta two. So that is really good news if you were facing that issue. Now also the AirPods Max Glyph has finally been fixed in beta two. I thought it was fixed in beta one, but it was not. So when the pop-up pops up up top that shows that the AirPods Max are connected, I'm gonna go ahead and put these on so you guys can see what I'm talking about. As you can see, this pops up right here, that would appear white. So I have the space gray AirPods Max, but the glyph would show that I had the silver version. So it was off, but now in beta two, it seems like it's fixed because it would happen pretty much every time on beta one, it would show the wrong color on the glyph right there. So thankfully that's been fixed. It's a small thing, but it is something I've noticed over the past few weeks. But aside from those few things, I really haven't noticed anything else new with 14.4 beta two. I did go through all of these settings and every application compared to beta one, and I did not find anything else new here in beta two. And Apple did also post the release notes for this beta, and you can see they really didn't mention anything. Basically just a bug fix update is what they're implying here. And they said there's only pretty much one bug that's been fixed and it has to do with the app clips as you can see right there. So mainly a bug fix update. We did get a lot of features in beta one, so that's kind of expected. Maybe we'll see more new features in beta three or beta four, but as far as actual changes, that's pretty much gonna be it with beta two. Now, as far as bugs and bug fixes, I do wanna talk about a few things. So number one is going to be the text message notification bug. So ever since installing iOS 14.4 beta one on my main device, I have not missed one text message. I got every single notification for text messages, so that is great. However, some people are still facing the issue where they're not getting every notification. So for those people, I would say number one, if you have an Apple Watch, maybe the notifications are going to your Apple Watch. Number two, you know, maybe you just have notifications turned off or you forgot that you have a contact muted. I had to tell somebody that they had a contact muted before because they didn't know how they were not getting notifications. They accidentally turned that on, I guess. So for those people, those could be some of the issues because I've not had any issue at all with text message notifications and Apple actually put it in the release notes, I believe of 14.3 that they fixed that issue. So for most people it is fixed, but some people are still facing that. So hopefully, you know, for those that are still facing that issue, hopefully Apple does fully fix it soon. Now a bug that I faced in 14.4 beta one has to do with the music application. It actually crashed on me the other day. So here's a screen recording of the music application yesterday. So you can see that I'm trying to play music in my car. It's simply not playing. And as you can see there, I'm trying to play it and take a look at what happens. It just completely crashes. Then I go into it It opens up. I try to play again and you can see it doesn't play and you know, I click on it and try to play it. Nothing's playing at all. It just goes from play to pause and then the music app just crashes. So that happened to me, you know, just one time, but it did happen on beta one. So I will keep you guys updated, but hopefully that will not happen in beta two. And speaking of music, a lot of people with Spotify also said that Spotify was draining battery and would just randomly stop playing music in beta one. This actually happened on 14.3 as well. So if you do have Spotify, let me know if that's been fixed in beta two. You can see here, multiple people commented that that was an issue. Now we also still do not have support for the new generation controller. So the PS5 and the Xbox controllers are still not compatible with iOS yet. So hopefully iOS maybe 14.5 or maybe a 14.3.1, hopefully something finally adds compatibility for these new controllers. And then for those of you asking about the green tent issue, that has still not been addressed along with the dual SIM 5G feature that Apple pretty much promised by 2021 and it's still not here. Neither one of those have been addressed in 14.4 
beta 2. Now when it comes to the performance, performance on beta 1 was pretty good for the most part, but you know some of those bugs, especially the frame drop issues and the lag, the stutter, really took away from the performance. But overall raw performance, opening games, playing games, things like that was never an issue on beta 1. It was really just the stutter and obviously the app crashing and things like music and it happened with a couple other apps as well. But hopefully beta 2 fixes that. Hopefully the fact that we have the fix for the stutter, so we don't have stutter, so that will definitely improve performance alone, but hopefully we don't have any more app crashes or things like that. Of course, I will keep you guys updated on 14.4 beta 2 in my follow-up video, likely coming this weekend, so stay tuned for that, and I will confirm if the performance is better overall. But when it comes to Geekbench scores, we do see some nice Geekbench scores here in beta 2 as well. So you can see on my iPhone 12, I got a 1578 single core and a 38 45 multi-core and when we take a look at my iphone 12 pro you can see we got a 1591 on the single core and a 4025 on the multi-core and we compare that to beta 1 you can see there that beta 1 got a 1594 on the single core and a 3911 on the multi-core so we do have slightly better on the multi-core here in beta 2 but the single core is right around the same slightly less uh, slightly lower score here on beta 2. So overall the performance, just the raw performance should be about the same as expected, but the fact that we don't have the stutter and things like that should lead to just overall a better experience on beta 2 because beta 1 really just felt like a beta 1 the entire time I was using it. You could tell it was a beta, so hopefully beta 2 doesn't feel so much like a beta and it actually you know performs really well. Now when it comes to battery life on 14.4, beta 1 battery life was just decent. It wasn't really anything special. 14.3 was definitely better. It was a first beta, so I did kind of cut it some slack and I didn't expect great battery life, but still, it just wasn't terrific. My phone was dying much, you know, sooner than before I went to bed, which is how it usually is. So hopefully beta 2, my phone doesn't die or, you know, get really low power before I go to bed. So we'll test that out. And of course, I will let you guys know in my follow up video if beta 2's battery life is any better. And of course, if you guys have any other issues that you want to mention that I did not mention in this video about the performance, the battery life, or just bugs overall, let me know in a comment down below because I will cover those in videos as well to see, you know, how widespread those issues are. But that's pretty much everything with 14.4 beta 2. So now let's talk about when we can expect to see 14.4 beta 3 and also if we could see a 14.3.1. So 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 as far as 14.4 beta 3, we could see that either next week on the 20th or the following week on the 27th. So Apple seems to be sticking to Wednesdays for their beta releases at least recently. So we could probably expect that either next week or the week after. It's really hard to say at this point because obviously we went so far or so long, I guess between beta one and beta two. So it's hard to say what Apple's gonna do, but it probably will be within the next two weeks. Now, as far as a 14.3.1, given the fact that we have a D at the end of the build number for 14.4 beta two, we can expect a couple more betas of 14.4. So that gives Apple some time to release something to the public in the meantime. However, there really are not any major outstanding issues aside from the green tent bug. I mean, especially since they fixed the notification bug, the text message notification bug, there's really nothing super widespread or major out there. So I'm not so sure that we're gonna see a 14.3.1 because it just doesn't seem necessary unless there's something that I'm just completely unaware of, but that doesn't mean that it can't happen. So I think that if we were to see a 14.3.1, it would likely either be as early as tomorrow or next week. If it doesn't get released by next week, I don't think it's coming at all. And we'll just see a 14.4 final sometime and likely in mid February. Again, it just depends on when we would see a third beta of 14.4. If it's a week or two weeks, that would really tell us a lot as well. So it kind of just depends. And of course, Apple is just really unpredictable. So it's hard to say at this point in time. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for iOS 14.4 beta 2. Not a ton to talk about. This is mainly just a bug fix update. And it did fix pretty much the biggest bug in beta 1, which was the stutter and the lag. So that is good news. And I think a lot of people are going to want to update for that reason. So if you were on beta 1, I say no doubt, go ahead and update to beta 2. That's really no reason at all not to. And we could even see better battery life as well. So I will keep you guys updated on the performance of the battery 
over you know the span of a few days this weekend in my follow-up video so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video i would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up and of course make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that follow-up video and of course my video on 14.4 beta 3 14.3.1 the final version of 14.4 you guys know i will keep you covered here on the channel with everything new related to ios but anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon Thank you.